Okay, so I had to reopen SPSS. I don't know if your version of SPSS makes this error, but once you do GLM Manova and then you want to do the Manova through the syntax, it really just doesn't want to work. So I've reopened SPSS, so now I can do the analysis. So I'm going to select that portion of the uh, syntax, and a, a Manova output comes out, and it's the old school format of the Manova but it's also the most interesting. So the first section of the output is actually the Palais Trace and, and Hotellings and Roy's uh, values. They're actually a little bit different. Uh, I think Roy's is the most different. In fact, Roy might be the only one that's different. Uh, so it's just slightly different. It's calculated in a different way. Uh, but the we've got Palais Trace, an F value of 11.936, and that's basically the same thing that we got in the first GLM approach, and we got significance P less than 0 0.001. Okay, so this is the same MANOVA that I did in the GLM. But then it starts giving me information that it didn't, that the other ANOVA didn't. And that's, uh, the first section is the eigenvalues and canonical correlations. What MANOVA is doing is it's trying to create a, a, a basically a linear regression equation upon which we can calculate uh, a variable that will maximally discriminate amongst the three groups that I've got in my independent variable. Uh, and that's the power of MANOVA. If you don't use MANOVA for that purpose, you're losing some, some power in doing so. So the first eigenvalue for the first linear combination of the dependent variables that can be used, that SPSS created to create what some people call a super variable or a canonical variant, um, is the eigenvalue associated with that uh, canonical variant is 0 0.411 and its canonical correlation is 0.54 this as I'll demonstrate in a few minutes is basically um, eta squared in ANOVA in the context of an ANOVA this is eta squared uh, it's not eta squared you'd actually have to square the value so it's eta you'd have to square it to get eta squared so it's basically uh, the effect size on the first canonical variate, the first super variable amongst that was created with the nine dependent variables, if I square this, I'll actually do that right now, 0 0.54014 times 0.54014, so 29.71% of the variability in the super dependent variable is accounted for by the independent variable education level. Now amongst my two variates that it extracted, and it's always going to extract uh, one less than the number of levels in your independent variable. So I had three levels, so it extracted two. So I had undergrad, master's, and PhD, that's three levels. So it extracted two um, eigenvalues, or it created two super variables. Uh, but the first one is overwhelmingly accounting for all of the almost all of the variabil all of variance that is being accounted for. So of the variance that's being accounted for, uh, the first canonical variant is actually uh, accounting for 98% of all of that. But that first canonical variant is actually accounting for 29. 0.7% of the variability in the super variable, the super dependent variable that was created um, as a linear function to maximally discriminate amongst the three uh, independent variables based on the nine dependent variables. All right, so I'll come back to this in a second. What, I'll, what I will notice, though, is that there's really just one, um, what SPSS calls a root or a canonical variant that was extracted in a meaningful way. The next um, root was so small compared to the first that it's probably not going to be meaningful. Now the next section is testing the statistical significance of these canonical variates. The canonical correlation or the eigenvalue is testing the statistical significance of that. And so it, for whatever reason SPSS combines the first two canonical variates together and you get an F of 13.04643 and a significance of P less than 0 0.001. Now uh, that's combining both of these together 
it's saying that together there's a statistically significant canonical uh, variant. But when it looks at